The crack surveillance squad known as the Dogs was called in for two reasons. To see if he acted suspiciously and to make sure he wouldn't strike again. Again, doesn't mean he killed her, but he did have 17 prior convictions for rape. Well, let's see if he has a phone. So they identify that he has a phone. Oh, hang on a minute. One thirty, his phone is in Sydney Road. 4.30, it's on the Tullamarine Freeway. 5 o'clock, it's in Sunbury. 6 o'clock, it's in Gisborne. And we had a map, and you could track both phones all the way out to Gisborne, and only one phone came back, which was Adrian. So that's pretty compelling evidence? Yeah. From late Wednesday, homicide detectives bunkered down and stopped talking to the media, a sure sign that they were making progress. There was further debate over whether releasing the vision could lead the man to destroy evidence, fabricate an alibi, flee, or self-harm. Thursday morning, the suspect was confirmed as the man in the blue hoodie. 